On March 10th, 2023, King Charles III bestowed upon his youngest brother, Prince Edward, the title of Duke of Edinburgh. That title belonged to their father, Prince Philip, that he received back in 1947 when he was engaged to Princess Elizabeth, later Queen Elizabeth. That new title means that Prince Edward's wife, Sophie, is now the new Duchess of Edinburgh. But what do we really know about Sophie? Sophie is one of those royals who's kind of always in the background. She doesn't get as much press as, say, Princess Catherine or even Meghan Markle. And that's probably okay with Sophie. But Sophie has contributed much to the royal family, and she was rumored to be one of the Queen's most favorite people. So that's what we're going to talk about today on the Canary and Crown. My name is Natalie. Thank you for being here. I'm so glad you're here. If you love the royal family and want to learn more, I would love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. Every little thumbs up, comment, everything means so much to a small growing channel like mine. So thank you guys. And here we go. Let's talk about Sophie. So Sophie was born Sophie Helen Rise Jones in 1965 to middle-class parents in Oxford. She grew up in Kent and eventually went to a college, West Kent College, where she um, received a degree and she worked as a secretary at first, and then she moved into public relations. Sophie was really successful in her line of work and she eventually opened her own public relations firm in 1996. Sophie kept that firm going up until 2002, and she actually married Prince Edward back in 1999. So Prince Edward and Sophie first met in 1987 when Sophie's friend was dating Prince Edward, but they didn't get together then. They didn't get together until 1993, and then they dated for over five years before Prince Edward finally asked Sophie to be his wife. They married in June of 1999 at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, which is where Harry and Meghan were married. And after they were married, Sophie kept working in her PR firm, like I said, until 2002. And then she left to become a full-time working royal. They have two children together, Lady Louise Windsor Mountbatten. She is 19. And there's a very interesting story around her birth. She was born premature. She actually had, or Sophie had a placental abruption, which is a very life-threatening event for mom and baby. But Lady Louise survived, and she's now 19, and she's going to university. She is 15th in line to the throne. And then Sophie and Edward have a son, James. James is 15, and he recently assumed the title that his father held since 1999, and that is the Earl of Wessex. Now, there's a little bit of a dip, debate and a little bit of uproar going on because Lady Louise, her title didn't change when Prince Edward became the Duke of Edinburgh. So we'll see what's going to happen with that. The Duke is only to retain his title up until his death, and then the title will revert back to the crown, which means whoever holds the crown at that time, whether it be the king, um, King Charles or King William, they'll get to decide who gets to have that title next. So let's talk more about Sophie. So as I mentioned, Sophie started working as a full-time royal in 2002, and she is a patron of over 70 different charities. She's a very hardworking royal, and she accompanies her husband all over the world, um, working for the crown and the monarchy. And like I said, she doesn't get a whole lot of press, but she does a whole lot of good work. The contributions that Sophie has made to the royal family and to the British public are almost too many to count. And the positions she have held, has held have been very prestigious and she's done so much good work. And just to name a few, she was a patron of the Foundation of Light, Meningitis Now, president of Girl Guiding UK, patron of the Greater London Fund for the Blind, patron of the National Autistic Society, the Wellbeing um, of Women patroness, and recently she took over the patron of the Guide Dogs for the Blind Association. 
So Sophie is doing so much work and Sophie is very appreciated for being not only low key, but low maintenance and she tries to present herself as just a normal person. She often drives herself to her own events and she just tries to uh, basically fit in and, and do what she can to help organizations and she is very approachable, um, usually, you know, very happy how she presents herself, um, she's very kind and she just seems very relatable, very down to earth and I think that's what a lot of people like about Sophie and appreciate about her. I know certainly that I do. Now Sophie and Prince Edward, they live at Bag Shot Park, which is near the village of Bagshot. It is a mansion. It's 11 miles south of Windsor. It sits on about 51 acres. And um, Prince Edward actually acquired that property back in 1998, so before they were married. And he signed a lease, a 50-year lease on that property. And he has since then signed a 150-year lease on that property. It is a crown estate. And he did pay in the beginning for renovations when he first first moved there. Um, it was half paid for by taxpayers and the crown and half paid for by Prince Edward. So that's their country home where they live the most of the time. And then their offices, their official office and London residence is at Buckingham Palace. So more about Sophie. One of the things she had in common with her um, father-in-law, Prince Philip, was that she loved carriage driving. And her daughter, um, Lady Louise, also has learned how to drive a carriage. And Prince Philip's carriage was actually willed to Lady Louise, and she still drives that today. Yeah, so that's Sophie. Um, she has had some scandals in the past. I can let you guys do a little bit of digging if you're interested in that. There was one photograph that was released um, right before she married Prince Edward of her topless, but the photo was taken in 1988. So years, years before they were even together and it was published by The Sun and it was actually then, um, they issued an apology to Sophie, which I thought was very nice. It was, it all ended up being okay and there was no litigation involved. Um, bad move by the newspaper, but, um, Came out of it okay, but of course, very embarrassing for Sophie. Love Sophie, love what she's doing. Very excited for Sophie that she is now a duchess. Very, very uh, well-deserved. And I just look forward to their future and seeing all the wonderful things that they continue to do with their new titles. And I'm certainly excited about the coronation that will happen on May 6th. I'm sure that Sophie and Prince Edward will have a part to play in the coronation. They will certainly be there supporting the king. So very excited to see that. So again, if you guys love... Um, British Royals and you love this kind of video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I would so appreciate you and I'll be back very, very soon with another video. Bye for now.